Hello? How's my favorite investor? Oh, you know, they say you just can't have it all. You know what, before we say anything else, let me send you something over, and I think I'll change your mind. Alright, I'll, uh, I'll go check it out right now. In our lifetime, we've heard it over and over again. You just can't have it all. Is that true? Or just a matter of perspective? Because successful investors like you can see through the trees and know that having it all can simply mean opportunity and potential. Introducing the Frazzanetti Winery. With a bottling facility, tasting room, gift shop, restaurant, bar, wedding venue, multiple existing residential properties, and building potential, this unique one-of-a-kind investment property truly has it all. Founded by James Frazanetti in 1897, the winery's 5.7 acres have been home to Sacramento's oldest family-owned and operated wine producer for more than 120 years. In 1985, Third-generation grandsons Frank and Howard Frazanetti transformed the Old East wine cellar into the beautiful and charming restaurant it is today, cleverly preserving history at its core. Friends would drop by and say, you're really putting a restaurant in that? We didn't have an architect or a design. It was kind of like it was meant to be and things kind of fell into place. All the saw cuts were done out of those concrete fermenters, which are about 9,000 gallons, basically 12 foot square rooms. So that's how we decided to use this old part of the winery and convert it into a restaurant. When people walk in, they can almost smell the wine that was in these old redwood vats. We tried to preserve as much of the winery feel, like the railings, the decking. A lot of that is redwood that we took out of some of these big holding bats. This is a picture of our grandfather when he was about 90 years old, and our three aunts are over here to the left. And there's a picture a long time ago of Howard and Gary by the dog Muscatel. Our grandfather James came through Ellis Island as a teenager, eventually worked his way to New Orleans, then eventually from New Orleans to San Francisco. Eventually, he ended up in Sacramento. He started the winery in 1897. He ran it till he was until 1965, and he passed away at 93 years old. My father and two of my uncles continued in the business with my grandfather all along. They only uh, didn't live as long as my grandfather, ran it for a short period, and my brother Gary and I took over in 1973. This photo was taken about 1910. This is my grandfather, my oldest uncle Chris, and that's how they delivered the wine to these wealthy Victorians in the background. And this picture was taken on 3rd and M Streets, which is now M Street was turned into Capitol Avenue. Fortunately for us, our grandfather took a lot of photos, so we had a lot of the photos kind of depicts the history. Even his citizenship papers we have on one of the walls. The 11,000 square foot restaurant provides capacity for 250 guests. Open seating in the main dining room allows for a unique perspective of the large wine vats and old winemaking equipment, giving each guest an experience they will want to revisit and explore. For a closer connection to history and a more romantic feel, private booths offer a wonderful setting for guests looking to enjoy a special evening together. The bar and patio is the perfect combination for relaxation or making new friends. Private dining rooms are available for group gatherings, celebrations, and events. Large banquets, however, like weddings and special events, can be hosted in the double banquet room, where a large custom sliding partition offers flexibility when tailoring the layout to accommodate for any hosting needs. Nothing brings a special evening together like the taste and aroma of a well-prepared Italian dish. The magic happens behind the scenes in this full-service commercial kitchen, where the efficient flow of foot traffic and careful space design allow Chef and his team to focus on the main course. Staff keep up with a steady stream of orders in the main kitchen while desserts are carefully crafted in the baking room. A separate preparation room makes hosting of large events organized and efficient. 
There is even an attached maintenance room, where maintenance staff can quickly respond to any necessary repairs and keep the efficiency flowing. From the smell of the old growth redwood construction and the preservation of history, to the flexibility and efficiency of hosting magnificent events, the Frasinetti restaurant is just one part to the amazing venue potential of this property. The beautiful Grand Gazebo is used to facilitate weddings with the capacity of 175 guests. Mature landscaping surrounds the gazebo and provides a lovely location for wedding ceremonies. It is conveniently located next to the tasting room and gift shop. Here, the friendly and knowledgeable staff provide tasting of the wines made and bottled here. In addition to purchasing their favorite wines, guests can browse all the unique gift shop items for purchase. The Frasinetti Winery is licensed for general liquor, off-sale beer and wine, still, as well as a wine growing license. Licenses may be transferred with sale of the property, providing plenty of options for future use or expansion. The bottling room is located near the center of the property. Bottles travel down the bottling line and are filled, corked and labeled by machine, then packaged up and stored for sale. There is plenty of storage to be found on site. Aside from the bottling room building with storage space, there are two additional storage buildings. Currently, these buildings are used to store wine barrels and winemaking equipment with storage room to spare. Together, the winemaking and storage, combined with the grand gazebo, tasting room, and restaurant complete the full-service venue that has been in successful operation since the 90s. In addition to the wine and venue opportunities, the Frasinetti Winery property also has five residential buildings. With long-term reliable tenants and the option of staff living on site, these included residential opportunities add value and efficiency potential. The original home of the Frasinetti family sits tucked away in a beautiful landscape. This 2,350 square foot home is currently multi-use. The lower level is used as office space for property management, and the upper level is rented out as a residential space. Three fully residential properties are located near the entrance to the winery and provide additional income. Hidden toward the back of the property is a quaint cottage rental, perfect for on-site staff living. What was once hundreds of acres of vineyards surrounding this property in the 1890s is now primarily the industrial zone in the old Florentown Special Planning Area. By building onto the existing foundation the Frasinetti family has established, a wise investor could utilize the included vacant lots to amount to something truly amazing. The building potential of these lots provide endless opportunities for expansion. The thing with this property is, is the potential for it. There's three acres of open land. If you wanted to put an amphitheater in to hold 250, 300 people and to do concerts on Sundays or use one of the buildings as a revolving artist gallery, put in a little cheese factory. Uh, ideally, if you work together with a, a craft brewery or even a dispil distilled spirits uh, producer, almost a turnkey situation if you wanted to still spirits, uh, the wine tasting is an old wine tasting license. Uh, it allows you to have as many wine tasting locations that you want. New licensing regulates the number of tasting locations you can have. It also limits the number of uh, large events. So there's no restrictions here. So a lot of things you could do. You could develop a school where you educated the novelist, the novice winemaker and went through the fermentation, the storage, and let them have an opportunity to make their own wine. So there's this, whatever vision you have, there's room for it. We've ran it for the last 45 years or so. We don't have the next generation to take over. Uh, my brother doesn't have kids. My kids are almost in their 50s, and they, they're established in their own careers. The Frasinetti Winery is located in an opportunity zone regardless of the investor's future plans for the property. The industrial zone surrounding the property could prove beneficial for any investor with the vision of total renovation. The options are endless. If it's the current facilities, income potential, and history that has you excited, or the renovation and building potential, we certainly agree that an investment property like this checks all the boxes for any investor looking for potential and opportunity. The Frasinetti Winery, a one-of-a-kind property that truly has it all. Why wait? 
Contact us today. Now is the time. Be a part Hello. of it. Yeah, I'm calling to follow up on this video I just watched. The Fresenetti Winery?